Hello, you are welcome to the second series of the developmental stages of banking application with Java programming. By name again, I am Akobin Awal. So now let's get started with the first task. The first task we have is to install NetBeans ID 7.1.0, though you can install a higher version if you want. We have 7.2. We have 7.3 as the latest. Don't forget, I've told you something about NetBeans IDE. IDE means Integrated Development Environment. That is an environment whereby you can develop an application. So NetBeans is a graphical user interface that can be used to design and develop our application. If I say design, design means you make it graphical. Develop means you apply your codings, your programming, and make it dynamic and we're also going to install the WAMP server. The WAMP server is uh, a particular application that stands for Windows, Apache, MySQL, PHP, MyAdmin, all are packed together and they are called WAMP server. Windows in the sense that this particular application can run on Windows. If you have your aim to replace that W, it's going to become Massintouch, which means MAM, which can run on the Massintouch system, that's the Apple product. So the Apache is a testing server. We're going to test our application locally on our system, the MySQL is a database, and don't forget Oracle has purchased MySQL and PHP Admin is the platform. So one server is what we're going to install. So let's get started. <laughs> so now we are going to start with the installation of our NetBeans IDE 7.1.2 and uh, we have downloaded this particular application in the URL I gave you in the previous class. I've downloaded it myself and I stored it in this particular folder. It's very easy to download, no technicality involved. Trust me, no technicality involved. Then this is the NetBeans, you double click in order to start the installation just wait a little bit for it to run click on yes you can see configuring the installer don't forget that sometimes you want to install this particular application and there will be an error telling you that you have to have JDK on your system JDK is just an application developed by Java and it's going to make this application that is not being ID to run on our system so but now i think jdk is part of this particular application so i don't need to install jdk jdk stands for java development kit it's just an application that makes you to develop java programs so you tell me now that you accept the terms in the license agreement then click on next you accept the terms again you click on next then this is the particular folder program files that our NetBeans software is going to. You can see JDK is there, it's part of this software, so we don't, we don't need to bother. Click on next, click on next, and click on what? Install. So we are going to wait for quite some few minutes for it to get installed. So we can still pause our video for now, and we'll meet very soon. Yeah, we are still in the process of installation. You can see that we are getting 200%. It's taking a lot of time, but we need to be patient for it to get installed. 94%. Relax, relax, you can take a coffee. 94%. Yeah, the installation is finished. You can cl click on finish. Finish very simple as ABC now let's install our WAMP server double click the WAMP server click on yes to allow the authentication then click on next you accept the agreement or you have the license set up we install WAMP server 2 into the following folder you drive C there's a folder called WAMP where the particular software will be installed. Click on next. You can create a quick launch icon or create 
a desktop icon click on install and the warm server is going to be installed in less than a minute so just stay tuned relax almost done just wait a little bit yeah please choose your default browser if you are not sure just click open so the default browser that the warm server will be using is explorer if i like i can uh, use any other browser now one server as i've told you is just like a testing server so by the time you want to run it you need a particular uh, browser to open it and by default you can see explorer is chosen so if you like you can choose any other uh browser as time goes on so explorer is picked by default here you click on open so which means explorer has been picked as our normal web browser for the one server to open you can click on allow access for this then you can leave this the name of your server is localhost next then click on what on finish click on finish so our warm server is installed so the next thing we need to do is to try to open both the netbase id and the warm server and see if there's any problem so that we can try to fix it now let's try to open our netbase first you can see that it's loading just wait a little bit it's going to load in less than uh, 20 seconds just sit there wait a little bit it's loading netbase id 7.1.2 Once it's opened, then we know we are correct and uh, everything is going to work smoothly for us. Yeah, it's opened. So you don't need to bother in this series how to use this interface. This is the interface we are going to use to develop our application. All we are doing now is to test our installation. Just, just sit back and relax. Now, the next thing we want to test is our WAMP server. If it is working correctly. So the next thing is to test our WAMP server. So we have it on the desktop right here double click click on yes then our warm server is supposed to have been uh, hidden here click on the on this green sign icon then click on php my admin that is going to load our php database so you can see that it's working localhost slash php my admin so it's working perfectly so all we need to do now is to be rest assured and to know that we can start working with our development stages after this particular installation thank you very much we are going to meet in the next class thank you stay tuned till next class